And there's the bell. And what a great opportunity this is for these guys to build momentum. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. The collar and elbow tie up in a battle for control here. Yeah, and Michael, it's so important to come out of this on top because you can do so many things to your opponent from this position. Given the amount of money Ric Flair apparently has, at this point, you'd have to think he's doing this for the pride and prestige that goes along with being a top star. Give us your thoughts about Butch. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. Man, did he teed right on his face? Well, we're on the move here. Oh, I'm not sure I can watch this. Flair certainly isn't afraid to flaunt his riches, as you mentioned earlier, King. His robes alone have to cost into the tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, and I have it on good authority that his watch is worth more than your house, Michael. Five! Back where it belongs, inside the ring. Six! Hey, what's going on here? The ref's getting an earful is what's happening. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Seven. Now back to the ring. He's in big trouble. These competitors will always be looking to unleash their finishing maneuver, and when that happens, the complexion of the match can change in a heartbeat. You're right about that. The entire match can end in a heartbeat if somebody hits their big move. You know, I've seen a lot of wacky people come through this business over the years, but I don't know if I've ever seen anybody as wacky as Butch. Legal or not, that may be the most effective move in all of sports entertainment. This is where things could get very dangerous for the arm. Yeah, that's going to be bad. 
There can only be one top dog here in the WWE, and a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. Speaking of wackiness, I'd say that there was actually somebody that can match Butch's off the wall. Hamill clutch! He needs to figure out a way to get to his base and break the hole. And he lets him out. Oh. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately, only one of them can be victorious here tonight. No. Keep your eye on this one. Yeah, this should be good. There's a punch worthy of... Wow, he was quick as a corpse on that one. We're looking at complete domination here. Wow, he's still down after that. He's doing a little showing off in there. We've all done it, but be careful. It could come back to bite you. He's got him. Oh, this is not going to be good. That's it. He's out. Woo, a little showboating going on here. Makes the cover. John, between the championship reigns and being a founding member of the Four Horsemen, you'd have to consider Ric Flair to be one of the greatest competitors to ever lace up a pair of boots. Without a doubt, Michael, before the Nature Boy even beat Dusty Rhodes for the World Championship in Kansas City, Missouri in 1981, you could just tell he was something special. Not today, too fast. My God, his body's been through hell, and his rip makes the cut. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. The night in Kansas City that JBL was referring to earlier was the beginning of more than a dozen world championship reigns for Ric Flair. It's pretty amazing when you stop and think about it. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. The small in the back is absorbing a great deal of punishment here. It's nearly impossible going for the cover. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. For me, while I appreciated Flair's victory over Dusty Rhodes in 1981, it wasn't until he beat Harley Race for the World Championship at Starcade 83 that really solidified him as a legit top-tier superstar. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh, and that's it. That's gotta be it. Butch! Now that's a finishing move, people. Boy, he's really done his homework for this match. Look at to catch him off guard. Quick round Two. count. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. Rick Flair matches from inside the ring and out. And I gotta tell you, it's a lot better from out here. At least now I don't have to worry about those chops to the chest. Uh -huh. Rick Flair is not someone to sleep on.
Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. The shoulders are down. Thank you for kicking off your weekend with us. We've got a great Friday night plan for you tonight. Man, this is why he's considered to be one of the greatest world heavyweight champions to ever live. Chops to the chest aside, what else do you have to look out for when you're in the ring with the nature boy? Well, you know, anything that's illegal. The low blow seems to be his specialty, but he'll also play within the rules every now and then. You know, drop an elbow drop every now and then, maybe mix it up running knee drop even. Exactly the way it should be done. Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. Oh, out of nowhere. King, many people refer to Ric Flair as the dirtiest player in the game. You've been in the ring with him. Is he really that dirty? Let me tell you, he's earned every bit of that nickname and then some. I'm surprised I still have both eyes considering the amount of times he's poked him. The end is near. <laughs> it's the end for those knees. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Ouch. You can hear that in different time zones. WWE fans watching this match all around the world. We want to say hi to them, all the countries, even Manila, where I use their envelopes. Manila's not a country. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. area on the human body and thus always a target. I know what you mean. You know I've got a week back. How long did you have that? Well, about a week back. Oh, wow. Well, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. If the action this Friday night is anything like last Friday, we're in for a, quite a treat tonight. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. He thinks he has it. One, two. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Ric Flair is a force within the ring, and he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. When this guy's on, look out. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Yeah, one of those you never want to see in. Look at this. Now that's how you make a statement. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Oh, what a shot. That did some serious damage. You can't take too many of those and expect to be in the match much longer. And will this be it? It may be. his opponent's skin with this one. This might be it. Wow, what a move from Butch. That's how you make this crowd stand on its feet. And he goes
goes for the pin. There's the count. Two. And we're back to this form of attack. Yes, we are. The same form of attack we've seen before. We've got a great Friday night planned for you tonight. Yep, that just happened. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Here we go. Here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. Established that the Nature Boy isn't afraid to play dirty, but it's also worth noting that he's what a huge win. Oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe in that match.